Okay, for this set of exercises, we'll start in tabletop position. Hands directly above the shoulders with the elbow straight. Take one foot off the bar, try and get your knee directly above your hip. Then take the second foot off the bar. Try and find a neutral zone for your spine. So you're looking to tilt the pelvis backwards, draw the belly button inwards. Keep the lower back and the rib cage flat. Then once we're set, first exercise is straight arms down beside the pockets. Slowly back up to shoulder level. Breathe out as you push down. Breathe in as the arms come back up. Focus on drawing the belly button inwards towards the spine each time you push down. Slow and controlled as you come back up to shoulder down. To challenge coordination a little bit, we'll add in every second leg going forward. As you push down with the hands, stretch one leg out in front. Again, focus on keeping the belly button drawn in. Try and engage your deeper stomach muscles, keeping the lower back and rib cage flat the whole time. To progress it slightly further, tighten in the stomach muscles a bit more and go with both legs forward. Both arms with both legs. Breathe out again as you push down. Breathe in as the arms come back to the start position. Okay, next exercise we're going to do is a sit up. Same starting position in tabletop for this one. Tuck the chin in towards your chest. As the arms come down, lift the shoulders, crunch the stomach muscles at the top, slowly lower the shoulders back down. Breathe out again as you lift up. Breathe in as you drop back down. Focus on lifting your shoulder blades each time, not just the head coming up off the carriage, so you're using your stomach muscles to do the exercise. Next exercise, we'll start in a sit-up position and we're going to pulse the arms up and down, keeping the carriage steady, both hands moving at the same time, keeping the shoulders up the whole time. Keep breathing throughout the exercise. Slight progression, one leg out in front over the top of the bar. Second progression, both legs out over the top of the bar. to the next exercise. For this one we're going to bring shoulders up again into a sit up position, keep the head and shoulders up the whole time and it's going to be arms only, lifting up to shoulder level, push the arms back down inside the pockets. Breathe in as the arms come up, breathe out as you push down. The progression of this exercise, both legs out over the top of the bar, same arm movement. Breathe in as the arms come up, Breathe out as you push down. Next exercise. We're going to go back in tabletop position with the knees, elbows tucked in by your side and resting on the carriage. For this one it's mainly for the triceps. We're going to push the arms down fully straight, slow and controlled back up to 90 degrees with the elbows. Again, breathe out as you push down, breathe in as the arms come back up. It's important to go especially slow on the way back so that you're working in both directions. To do a slight progression again and to challenge coordination, every second leg out in front. As you push down with the arms, one leg stretches out in front, slow and control back to the start position. Okay, hook the straps back on. The next exercise we're going to do is in a different position on all fours. And we'll lower the spring down to one loose spring. For this one, knees are at one end of the carriage, hands flat beside the shoulder pads at the other end of the carriage. Keep the stomach muscles drawn in, keep the back flat and parallel to the floor the whole time. We're going to use the, arm, the straps here, but we're not going to put our hands through the loops, just holding the outside, the very end of the outside of the long strap. Tuck your elbow in by your side, keep it tucked in by your side the whole time. Again, it's for the triceps. We're going to push the arm back fully straight, slowly bend back to 90 degrees. Breathe out as you push back. Breathe in as you slowly return to the start position. If you find the arms getting tired in this one, try and engage your stomach muscles a bit more to help as you push back. exercise. We're going to bring the knees up closer to the shoulder pads but try to do them without touching the knees against the shoulder pads. 
and we're going to have both hands out in front on the tracks. To get in position, pull the carriage forward, stop when your shoulders are directly above your hands, hips directly above the knees. Again, draw in the stomach muscles, keep the back flat the whole time. We're going to loosen the grip with the fingers. For the first part, we don't want the shoulders moving, we just want to see the knees moving. Bend the knees to bring the carriage in, slowly let the carriage go backwards. So again, extra slow on the way back, so you're not letting the springs pull you back too quickly. Try and engage your lower stomach muscles to help every time you bend the knees to come in. Breathe throughout the exercise. Next exercise, same starting position on all fours, but this time we don't want the legs moving. We're going to let the shoulders go back a couple of inches, tighten the stomach muscles, use your body to bring the carriage forward. So again, you're keeping the fingertips loose, so you're not pulling too much with the hands. Focus on your stomach muscles engaging as you pull the carriage forward, as you pull your shoulders forward directly above the hands each time. Next exercise, change the spring to one red for this one. Chariot pull exercise, both hands are going to be in the smaller loops for this. Again, if we can do it with the knees a little bit away from the shoulder pads, start with the hands just a couple of inches in front of your hips, squeeze the shoulder blades together to do the exercise, slowly let the hands go forward. Be careful not to lose balance on this one. You don't want any part of your body moving apart from the arms and you're focusing on the shoulder blades doing the work each time you pull back. 